Hey guys and welcome back to another follow-up and final video about the Terramaster F2-2 and in this video I'm going to share with you the things that I did like the most and the things that I did like the less and obviously at the end I'm going to tell you my opinion if it's worth it or not to purchase this device so if you are interested in that I'll see you in a few seconds Okay, and we are back. So let's do this as fast as possible so you don't lose time. So the things that I did like the most on this device, first of all, is the quality material that it's built. It's all aluminium as we saw on the first video and it only has the plastic bezels on the front and on the back. And also this aluminium, besides looking good, it also has another function which in my opinion is very important which is the dissipation of heat so it will transfer the heat from the drives and will dissipate which makes besides the quality also a cooler for the drives now the other thing is easy setup although this device has a lot of options um, it is very easy to set up so for those of you that never tried a device, you will not, not have to be afraid of this one because it will be easy to set up enough even for a beginner that never tried one before. Now, backups on the network and local backups. This device works great. For all the tests that I've been making, even remote backups, uh, it works just great. It has a lot of options that uh, sometimes we miss on other NASH, at least ones that I've tried. And as an example is the scheduled backups. If you want to uh, schedule this device to make a weekly backup, a daily backup, a monthly backup, you just have to set that once and then uh, it will make all the backups that you have programmed without having to worry, which is the job of the NASH. You don't have to worry about the, uh, the backups itself, just have to worry of setting it up and let it do its job. So once the drive fails, because drives do fail guys, don't forget about this, the, the device is doing its job without you having to worry because we have much more to worry about than doing backups. Now one more thing that I would like to mention on backups is the USB backup function which I really enjoyed the ability to schedule backups to the USB drives. I do work with other NASs that do not have this function and I did love this about the Terramaster. All you have to do is set up the schedule as, as we did for the network and it will make the backup for the USB. Another great option was to be able to put on automatic mode which is you unplug the USB drive and once you plug it in it will back up the drive that you have selected as you saw on the video about the backups and if you did not just search on the description and you will find it so that was a great option as well. Now the fan noise was great. You saw if you did back, go back to the, <laughs> to the video and you will check it. The fan was very low. We do not hear it unless we push it up to the maximum. So it's a quite silent device. If your problem is silence, this is a good option in your case as it is on mine. And one more thing is the power management schedule. This is one thing that I did enjoy also, and this is a pro and a con, which I will say later on. But on the pro side of things, you can just schedule this device to power on at any time and power off at any time every day um, or just in a few days that you want to, to do that. Let's say you don't want it to turn it on on Saturdays and Sundays for, uh, I don't know, company reasons, doesn't matter, <laughs> everyone has its own reason. So this is a thing that works great. I did test it out and it does exactly what it uh, what it says and powers on and powers up. One more thing to mention here is this little button here, the on off button. It is very useful um, because on other NASs that I've tried, once you turn it off, you will have to unplug and plug back in so it can boot up and this one has a button on the front that you don't need that hassle to go back you just press the button and it will turn on so these are the things that i did like the most now let's go for the things that i did like the less here and one of them being regarding the power management 
although I did like the power management schedule, there's not an option for um, the sleep mode, which is something that I love and I miss on this Nage over here. Something that really makes me um, love these devices is when they are uh, on sleep mode. And this one here, I cannot tell you if she sleeps or she doesn't sleep because I do not get that uh, information. At least it doesn't with this firmware. Hopefully Terra Master will improve this little bit here and will give us the, the ability to see if the, the Nage is sleeping or not. There is a, on a manual, that is stated that on sleep mode it only consumes 5 volts and I do believe it, but the Nage does not give me the information that is sleeping or not. So this is something that I found a little bit on the, the things that I did like the less. Now, another thing which until now I haven't found a Nash capable of, which is the shared folders that any Nash creates when you do, uh, when you set it up, I would like to be able to remove them. And I'm not. And I showed that on the first, one of the first videos, I can't recall now. Um, but I did show that, that we cannot remove the default folders that the device created. And until now, I haven't been able to test a NASH that does this. I'm not sure if there's an, any NASH that does it, but I would love to see that on a NASH. Just remove all the folders that is created um, from the device and then create your own folders which actually means something to you. Now this would, <laughs> this would be something that Terra Master would, uh, should <laughs> look forward and on the next firmware update probably uh, enhance this. At least that's my opinion. And finally, the speeds of the Nash were not very impressive. Now we are talking about 30 megabytes per second, which is more than enough for this type of device. I want, I want to leave this clear enough, but we users uh, always want more and more and more speed. So I would love to see an increased speed over here, especially on RAID 0 for those users that want to use RAID 0, which is a configuration that I do not recommend at all for these devices. But nonetheless, uh, you are free to use because that's an option. So in conclusion, guys, these are all the things that I did like the most and the things that I did like the less. And as you saw by the list, uh, the things that I did like the most surpass the things that I did like the less, making this a totally worth it purchase, in my opinion. Of course, at the end of the day, the money is yours, guys. So you will have to know what you are going to do uh, with it if you want to invest in this device or not. Hopefully, all this series that we made of six videos are helpful to take any questions that you had about this device and to make a more educated purchase, which is what I'm trying to pass on to that side of the screen as usual. So my name is Roberto George. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, don't forget that thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one, guys.